Ooh, hello world, Will White here, Pike Down at Survival School. Headaches. Headaches can, can change the situation. So there's a particular leaf out here that you grab it, break it up, even heat it up to extract a little bit more of the medicinal properties. It'll help alleviate a headache pretty quick. I feel like a bag of dookie. A headache, sinus congestion, which actually cleared up a little bit. <clears throat> I just feel a ah, headache, man. I wanted to show you what could be used for headaches. I'm talking rose bay rhododendron or just rhododendron in general can help alleviate headaches. Now I know there's a lot of mixed beliefs on is it toxic, is it not? I don't know for sure. You can read one book that says don't even, you know, mess with it. Some say it's perfectly fine. I've noticed for me if I'm if it's being burned and it's green, I get heartburn instantly. What we're using the rhododendron for today is we're not going to ingest it. We're simply making a paste to apply to our forehead to alleviate headache. But I thought, what better way to show you than to actually show you. So today, we're, what we're going to use for pain, rhododendron leaves for a headache, and wild onion for an anti-inflammatory. I like to find healthy leaves, so I know nothing's really been on it, versus ones with holes. Here, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but either way, something's been on it. So that's another good reason to go ahead and make like a, a heated paste out of this. Kill anything in there you don't want, keep the medicine. Healthy looking leaves, we're going to go ahead and extract four. Because you never know. Better to have too much than too little most of the time. As I'm walking, I can see more and more wilding in there, wilding in there. Yeah, you can see it's, you get a decent shot of how it's hollow. It's filled up only to about here. I'm trying to make some sort of a semi paste without spending way too much time out here. One of them was before, just went home, threw it in the blender with some warm water. So it's kind of pasty, put it in a rag, put it on my forehead, and within, honestly, under a minute, I feel relief. So we'll see how it works out here in the bush. Um, I'd rather have a mortar and pestle right now. It's not part of the options. And I am trying to be a little rough with these leaves to bruise them a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bruising going on. I want that to evaporate quite a bit of water, so I'm gonna give this good 15 20 minutes let it evaporate it's more of that water and extract more of the medicinal properties so that therefore i have more of a paste more condensed paste the last step will be to put this in my schmog and i don't want just water in here i want some paste so not all the so all the medicine doesn't just run out so i'm gonna put the paste in here fold it up once so the juices can still flow put that on my forehead and hopefully feel better why not put a lid on it? Wouldn't that speed up the process? Yes, there's a very good scientific explanation as to why I'm not doing that. No, there's not. I feel like crap. I remember putting extra intent on keeping track of that lid. I can't find it, so that's just another indicator for me to pay more attention to little details when I'm sick. That's cooking. It's time to have a little snack. One, it's tasty. Two, it's medicinal. Three, the medicinal value is anti-inflammatory. I can eat, you know, everything but at the end of the day right now my body doesn't need fuel this doesn't have a lot of calories but it's something oh boy is that spicy it's also gonna help flush my sinuses a little bit and i kind of feel happier just having some food and food that tastes like home which is grounding and that's something that we don't hear too much about in the survival community is mentality you know suck it up drive on persevere last man standing all that yeah that's great but even like the greatest warriors in history I mean, they did meditation but being able to slow everything down mentally, whether it's in your personal life or out here in the woods, it's a really important skill. Fire's pretty much died down. A little bit slushy in there. And you can't see because of the smoke, but got a little catch here. Just gonna go ahead and pour the sucker out. I wanted it more slushy, but this is gonna have to do. I want that juice right out of my head. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, I think we're good. I'm kind of excited now. So I'm just getting the juicy side. Oh, and that is it. Okay, my head's pounding extra hard right now. The right side, and then it just calmed down. I feel like it just moved the headache to like just to back here. Hmm. Making sure I'm not convincing myself that this works, like a placebo. Right here, right now, I feel like my headache's down like 10% of what it was. I still have on the occiput, you know, the rear bottom side, where my neck joins my skull. I feel a little tension there, a little bit back here, but it's been like all just throbbing here, like in my temples here. Now it's just kind of in the back of my head a little bit. And then my occiput, I'm give that a little massage. Wow. Like instantly I feel like I need to crack my neck. Which tells me something's relaxing. 
Something's doing its job. Whew. All of a sudden feel cold. That's interesting. Haven't felt cold this whole time. Now all of a sudden it just kicked in. I don't know what that means. Well, I'm not going to say it's 100% gone, but it does feel better. All right. Well, there you go. One more evergreen remedy for when you're feeling unwell, a headache, rhododendron leaves, and for inflammation or just general pain, wild onion. Stay alive as long as you can. Right, Stella? Yeah, she says yes.